Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you what is the difference between union and union all in SQL Server. So I will show you with example. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will try to understand the difference between the union and union all with the SQL query. So let's jump to the demo. So the union and union all, both the keywords, they are used to combine the data set. Okay. So if you have data in some tables or if you have data coming out from a query then if you want to merge the data or combine the data then you can use the union or union all transformation so let me uh, show you with example that I have a few tables like I have a names table which contains person's names okay it contains four records and then I got another table name three table which contains six records okay so this particular data set is right now available and I just want to uh, combine the data set together and I want to show you like if I will use union then how it will react and if I use the union all then how the data will look like okay so if you see at the data set so these are the four records okay and the same four records they are available in the second table as well plus this table contains two additional records okay so total six records this table contains and four records this table contains okay but these four records Deb, Akhil, Raj and Sushma these four records they are duplicate across the uh, both the tables okay so if I use the union all so what union all does it simply merge the data between the two data set so here because the data is in two different tables so if I use the union all so it will just combine the data between the two table and okay and it won't remove any duplicate data so right now uh, there are four records in the first table and six records in the second table so if i use a union all in between and if i execute the query then there should be 10 records in the final result set so let me execute this one so you can see that it just combined both the tables together and now we got 10 records okay on the other hand if i will use the union instead of the union all so what it does it combine the data between the two data set and then it removes the duplicate records as well okay now if i will try to use the union in this particular case then because these four records dev akil raj and sushma these four records they already exist in the second table you know the names three table so when i will combine the data set then the final table will have only six records because the the four records of the first table they are already here so you know this data set will be combined and then these four duplicate records they will be removed thus the total number of records in the final result set will be six okay so the difference between the union all and union is that the union all just combine the data and do not remove the duplicates while the union keyword merge the data but it removes the duplicates so let me just change this particular query and try to use the union so if i will use the union then the total number of records should be six in the uh, result set so let me execute the query now you can see that it returned only the six records because it removed the duplicates while if i'm using the union all so it is returning 10 records because it is not removing the duplicate records okay so this is the main difference between the union and union all so according to your scenario if you want that duplicate data can be present in the data set then you can use the union all and if you think that duplicate data should not be present in the final output then you can use the union in that particular scenario okay, so i think that's it for today's video and i will share the create table statement and the insert query to insert the data into the names table and the names three table and you can download the query from the link in the description of the video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.